Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Shanghai to halt production in July to upgrade Model Y line capacity. Tesla's original Cybertruck prototype stuns at CVPR 2022 conference. Elon Musk says, Tesla Cybertruck design is officially finalized. And, 4680 Tesla Model Y's usable battery is 67.5 kilowatt hours. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. After being forced to shut down Giga Shanghai for 22 days in March and April due to a surge in COVID-19 cases in the area, Tesla will be shutting down the factory again in July. However, this time it is a planned shutdown and will only last for four days. With the upgrades in place, Gigafactory Shanghai's Model Y output will reportedly be boosted to about 2,000 units per day. Overall, the improvements to Giga Shanghai's Model Y production should put the factory's weekly output closer to about 22,000 units per week. According to an internal email from Tesla China's Human Resources Department, the factory will be shut down from July 1 until July 4, 2022, to allow for a capacity upgrade. The email goes on to explain, the shutdown requires staff to adjust their schedules accordingly by either using annual leave, shifting to other work areas, working from home, or working at an office outside of Giga Shanghai. Shutting down their factories for equipment maintenance and upgrades like this is a regular occurrence and should not significantly impact Giga Shanghai's production numbers, especially considering the factory will likely be able to produce more cars once it is complete. Last year, Tesla started a $188 million production line optimization project at the Shanghai facility, which focused on increasing the hours of production, increasing the number of employees at the factory, as well as increasing their supply chain turnover rate. Since reopening in March, after the COVID shutdown, crews have worked hard to ramp production to pre-shutdown levels. Despite operating under a closed-loop system with a reduced number of workers, the factory was able to produce 33,544 vehicles in May. Tesla is aiming even higher for June, with reports indicating the automaker is targeting to build 71,000 vehicles this month, a figure that would set a new all-time high for Giga Shanghai. Moving to the next update, Tesla's original Cybertruck prototype stuns at CVPR 2022 conference. Tesla has been showcasing the Cybertruck quite frequently as of late, with the all-electric pickup being brought to the Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition Conference CVPR, in New Orleans recently. The Cybertruck's presence at the event came not long after Tesla brought over the updated prototype of the all-electric pickup at the Michigan International Speedway's Formula Fay event. Interestingly, Tesla opted to bring over its original Cybertruck prototype to CVPR instead. A photo of the original Cybertruck prototype was shared on social media by Tesla's director of autopilot software, Ashaka Luswami, who invited attendees to visit the company's booth. The Tesla executive noted that members of the autopilot team and some engineers are at the event. Just like in previous sightings, the Cybertruck seemed to attract a lot of attention from the event's attendees. The original Cybertruck prototype features some differences compared to the most recent versions of the truck. The vehicle is still equipped with door handles, tires with aero covers, no side mirrors, no physical wipers, a fully finished interior, and a dashboard made of paper composite. Some of these components, such as the vehicle's dashboard, appear to have been changed in the updated Cybertruck prototype. CVPR 2022 is expected to be the largest gathering of professionals from across the world and from every aspect of the computer vision, machine learning and artificial intelligence industry, as per the event's official website. A look at the floor plan of the exhibitors at the event shows that Tesla's booth is one of the biggest at the event. Tesla is joined by other companies noted for their AI programs, such as Apple, Meta, Microsoft, and TikTok, as well as autonomous driving companies like Argo AI and Zooks. Tesla's participation at the prolific AI conference highlights a point that Elon Musk has been emphasizing for some time now. 
Musk has noted that while Tesla today is mainly known for its premium electric cars, the company will be known more as an AI robotics company in the future. This, according to the CEO, is because Tesla is currently developing one of the strongest hardware and software AI teams in the world. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk says, Tesla Cybertruck design is officially finalized. Elon Musk confirmed in a recent interview that Tesla has finalized the design of the Cybertruck and it is locked ahead of production, which is slated for 2023. Musk sat down with members of Tesla owners Silicon Valley, as well as Eli Burton and Ryan Levinson of the Kilowatts at Gigafactory Texas for a lengthy and revealing interview about Tesla, its CEO, and some of the finer points of the company's day-to-day -day operations. One of the most interesting parts of the interview was when Musk confirmed that the Cybertruck's design was locked, stating that they may have gotten carried away with before the others in the room said features. Musk appeared to confirm with a head nod. Tesla first unveiled the Cybertruck in November 2019 in Hawthorne, California, but Musk stated over the subsequent months and years that the design was not finalized. At first, the dimensions of the truck appeared to be too large for residential garages, traditional parking spaces, boring company tunnels, and European streets. Musk revealed on the Joe Rogan experience that Tesla would reduce the dimensions by 3%. That's pretty much what it will look like, with very small differences. You know, we adjusted the size a few percent. Like around 3% or smaller. You don't want it to be a couple of inches too big for the tunnel," Musk said. Musk appears confident that Tesla's current design is the final one, and it would be a big step in the right direction for the truck. While Tesla hoped to start production before now, supply chain issues, semiconductor shortages, and other things out of the company's control have affected the entire product line. Earlier this year, Tesla said it would delay any new product releases until 2023, hoping conditions would level out and become more relaxed. There was no point in attempting to ramp production of a new vehicle while the company's order log grows due to increased demand it would only make it hard to fulfill existing orders. Musk also said in the interview that he believes the Cybertruck will begin production in the middle of next year, which would be roughly 15 months after Gigafactory Texas started production and deliveries of the Model Y. It may be ideal to let the Texas plant continue its initial ramp of the Model Y before taking on a new manufacturing task for the Cybertruck, which will likely be a completely refined process due to the vehicle's unique design. Moving to the last update, 4680 Tesla Model Y's usable battery is 67.5 kilowatt hours. In its latest video, a YouTube channel named Spoken Reviews took a deep dive into all the data on the new 4680 Tesla Model Y and the battery's usable capacity. The Spoken Reviews video detailed the Tesla Model Y's battery numbers over three days. As per the available data, the usable capacity of the new 4680 battery was 67.5 kilowatt hours. Spoken Reviews used two different methods to come to this conclusion. The first was through the Tessie app, which is not 100% accurate but is a top-rated app on the Apple and Google App Stores. The second way was visits to two superchargers and performing the required math using battery percentages and amount of charge added. The video goes on to note that the range of the Model Y is listed at 279 miles. However, it depends on your driving, location, and other factors. The Tessie app showed a real-world range of 221 miles at 90% state of charge based on the last 30 miles of driving, which according to spoken reviews, was mostly done at 85 miles per hour, so the consumption would be higher than normal. The Model Y also provides a real-world calculation of the range, and after a couple of days, it seemed to be the most accurate. In another video, he reviewed the Tesla charging speed and noted that the new 4680 is a little slower than the previous battery version. Spoken Reviews also discovered his Model Y now has the acceleration boost available to it. Although many in the industry believe that Tesla will increase the range to a maximum level, that they can squeeze out of these new batteries through software updates.
It looks like you should expect 67.5 kilowatt hours for the 4680 Model Y for now. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.